Okay, uh, Pacific Green Party uh, Cascadia Chapter Part 2 on uh, January 30th. And Michael has a second statement tonight for us about the violence in Kiev uh, in Ukraine. Yes. And he's going to make a statement about that now. So. What is the alternative to having a two party system? The alternative to having a two party system. We, we will be directly. Thank you. There you go. We're we're <laughs> on record as, as uh, being uh, past 9 a.m. 9 p.m. But in the in the uh, uh, event of the Green Party actually obtaining what we're what we're aiming at, what we're what we're demanding, and what we're organizing for, it would be a revolution in American politics because we would no longer have the corporate interests in control in the United States. Would you recognize a revolution if you saw one in the United States? They happen, you know, revolutions. And I brought along last Saturday's, last Saturday's New York Times. Here is evidence of revolutions occurring in what might be considered a relatively, relatively settled environment. Revolutions occur without warning, kind of. They occur when the old system doesn't work for most people. And I'm warning you, there's a revolution in the Ukraine today. There's a revolution in Turkey that's ongoing. The president, <laughs> the president can hardly hold on to power in Turkey. And why should the United States be immune from ever having a revolution when 95% of the increase in productivity since the Great Recession struck has gone to the top one-tenth of one percent of Americans. How can we keep that kind of inequality going? We can't. So what do we do? We prepare for and we engage in a revolution. A peaceful revolution, mind you, but one which rejects the corporate control of the way of life in the United States.